I'm sat in my living room, I've got my sculpt in front of me, I've got Discord there, Pure F up there, Spotify up there. Life is golden. A couple of months ago I made a video of me sculpting Jinx using the brilliant virtual reality software ShapeLab. Well since I made that video, the geniuses behind ShapeLab have been working away to bring us a bunch of new tools and in this video we're going to have a look at those tools. Okay so the first new feature that we're going to look at is an outstanding quality of life update. Now before the update the way you would select a brush is you would either lift up your left hand and select it from the brush menu over here or you would use the thumbstick on your right hand to cycle through the different brushes and you can see it changing there. The much more convenient way is you just press A on this controller and you get this pie menu here and this pie menu is highly customizable. Let me show you this. So look at all these options you get here. So you can change the amount of slots that you've got in this menu. You've got a bunch of different customizations for the actual pie menu itself. And then you've got all your brushes over here so that you can put your brushes wherever you want and then you can get used to gesturing in a certain way and you can select your brushes so much quicker with this. Let's say you're working away, you're throwing some shapes together, you're remeshing it and it's getting a little bit high poly and difficult to work with. That's where your next three features come in and they work together quite nicely. So first off, we've now got a new quad remesher. So you're used to the remesh, which gives us this kind of topology. If I just bring this menu up, you can see we've got our voxel remesh. That's what this looks like. But quad remesh, let's just turn this down and we'll say about six and a half thousand polys. Maybe I'll just turn it up slightly more, maybe 7.7. .7. Hit apply, it's gonna do its thing. And now we have much nice topology on that hand. Look at that, that is really nice. Now, when you drop this many polygons, you've got to expect a little bit of loss of detail, but we can bring that back. Now, first of all, is an absolutely awesome update, and I'm so glad that we now have this in ShapeLab. I promised it in my last video, and that is multi-resolution. We can now have subdivision levels right here in ShapeLab, which is really cool. So I can just subdivide this model, subdivide it once, subdivide it again, and now we can just move between level one, two, and three, and it even tells you how many polygons each level is. And you can also, so if I just undo out of that, you can also tell it how smooth you want these subdivisions to be. I usually put that right up to the top. We have another new feature, which is detail projection. And what we're gonna do is project the details from the original hand onto the new hand. And so we're in scene mode and all we need to do is select the source object. So I'm just gonna make sure I've got the right one selected there. If I just hit apply, did you see the movement there? So before we projected the details and then after. Okay, so that's super nice. Right, so we do have, as I said, a desktop mode in here because some things are just easier to do on the computer. So for example, transform my objects on my computer as well. So I do find it easier to use a mouse to move stuff around like this. So when I'm in scene mode, we now have parenting. So in the outliner, you can just drop an object onto another and make it its child. So now any transforms also affect its children. We can now multi-select, so we can transform multiple objects at once. And we can also adjust in the transform panel and select if you want the transform center to be group or object. We now have selection grouping, which allows us to save selections as groups to easily reselect groups of objects. You can completely hide the brush and UI palette, making the working space cleaner. And there's also a bunch more quality of life updates, which you find on the website which I will link in the description below. There is one last update that I think is really awesome that I wanna show you next. We can now sculpt. I'm sat in my living room, sat on my sofa. You, you could even be sat on your bed if you want to. How awesome is this? Like I said, I was not that bothered about this when I saw it in the notes, I'll be honest. But sitting here with this in front of me like this is just, it's mind blowing. No. When I created Jinx in VR, I had to bounce over to Blender a few times by this point. I use Blender to unsubdivide the mesh. I use Blender for retopology. I use Blender to check how it looked in 2D. But this time, thanks to the new updates, 
I've avoided having to use Blender at all up until this point. Uh, I'm super excited to see what we get in the next update of ShapeLab. You know, besides what I mentioned about pen pressure and custom HDR environments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And this is my bust of Diva sculpted in virtual reality in ShapeLab.